In this problem, we're going to find the inverse of this function. So the first step when finding the inverse of a function is to replace your function with y. So y equals 3 over 4 times x minus 5 over 6. Just rename it to uh, y. The second step is to just switch your x and y. So this is x equals 3 over 4 times y minus 5 over 6. And the third step is the hardest step usually. You have to solve for y. So we want to isolate uh, this term here. So we'll start by adding uh, 5 over 6 to both sides like this. So plus 5, 6, plus 5, 6. So this is x plus 5 over 6, and that's equal to 3 fourths y. All right, we're looking for y. It's being multiplied by 3 fourths. So I am thinking we can multiply by the reciprocal, which is 4 thirds. So uh, before we do that, though, I'm going to write it over here. 3 fourths y equals x plus 5 six, just to make it look a little bit easier. And now we're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 3 fourths, which is 4 thirds like this. Then over here, this is two terms, so you do want to put parentheses here like this. All right, these cancel, 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 cancel. So you get y equals, so 4 thirds times x is just 4 thirds times x. And then plus 4 thirds times 5 six. Wow, okay. Huh, some simplification should take place here. 2 goes into 4 twice, and it goes into 6 three times. So this is y equals 4 thirds x. See, 2 times 5 is 10. Then on the bottom here we get 9. And the very last step would be to write our answer using the correct notations. So that would be f inverse of x. And that's equal to 4 thirds x plus 10 over 9. And that would be the final answer um, to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful.